Hey guys, another day, another hike. This one should be quite interesting. We're going somewhere really far. It's somewhat in the middle of Tunisia. It's a place called El Gem. The major attraction here is a massive old Roman amphitheater. It's very similar to the one, it just might be smaller, but very similar to the Colosseum, Italy and Rome. Excited? I know I am. Let's go. It's a very long drive, so you know we have to take a little break. It's a little more than three hours of just driving on the highway. We drove through an area that was very heavy in fog, very thick in fog. It was very, very eerie. It was very interesting. The first time I've been through so much thick fog. We might have like an hour again left in the trip before we reach the edge. Yeah. All right, we have arrived in Gem. Take a look at this. Just some guys riding a camel next to the uh, amphitheater. No biggie. So we're walking around to the entrance. Okay. We're at the entrance. If you look, you'll see some nice big round steps behind me leading down to the amphitheater. And we're in. We just passed through uh, security, you know, the scandal bags and everything. But we're in the compound. That's it right behind us. Now we're on the inside and it's very similar to the one in Rome. Actually, that's the very first video I ever did on this channel is when I went to Rome. If you go back, it's very rough. I did it with my phone. I didn't know how to edit. So, you know, please forgive that video. I'll leave a link in the description. These amphitheaters was the place of battles and whatnot. This is the area where the gladiators will battle it out. There are certain places that is covered that there and you'll see other holes behind me. There is a big underground system here where the gladiators used to stay. They had animals and whatnot. And through pulleys, they would be rising up. A lot of time and effort went into their planning. You know, this is before TV and everything. So I guess this is what they had. But it's amazing the type of engineering that went in to entertainment. Going down into the area where the gladiators used to be and all the lions and animals they had should be pretty exciting. Amazing this place. So if you look behind me, you'll see different holding areas for gladiators, animals, and it's such a strong feeling of history. I don't want to sound corny, but you can't help but get that historical vibe, that historical feeling. You know, at some point in time, some person was inside of this room about to battle for his life, for the entertainment of others. It's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. When we were up on the floor, that great you saw, that's it above us. Official tour is over. Now we have about an hour, hour and a half free time. Of course, this will be my favorite time. So we're walking in the second level. This place could hold 30,000. People. Modern day architects actually study these Roman ruins to get a better idea of how to more efficiently evacuate. Because although this could be filled to capacity with 30,000, it could be evacuated in just a few minutes because of the amount of exits and whatnot. It had over 60 entrances and multiple stairways. It fed people in and out very, very efficiently. Those engineers, man, something else. Let's head up to the other level. It's like I'm going crazy. There are so many things I could spend here all day. I'll fill up all my memory cards. And still, I, I don't think I really capture how fantastic this ruin is. I know sometimes pictures, you don't really get a good sense of scale. Look at those guys there. And look at the size of those pillars. It's huge. I just came up to another floor. This is the fourth. I'm not sure of the floors anymore, but it's very tall. And there's a, yet a next one. This is it. This is the top of it. 
This is the only grand Roman amphitheater in all of Africa. There is two more, but they're in Italy. It's very, very well preserved. If you look behind me, you see those steps. Those are reconstructed to give you an idea how the steps was. All of the structures you're seeing is what supported those steps coming up. And all those pathways I was walking through, the crowd will get in and get out to the amphitheater. <laughs> From this vantage point, you get to see the shape, elliptical shape, and that was the best shape for viewing angles and of course for acoustics. So I'm sitting in the steps where people would come and see the spectators. Over a thousand years ago, it would be filled with 30,000 people just shouting. You know, similar maybe, and I'm guessing it would be like a soccer match where people would be going crazy. But just this would be a very core blood sport. It's really something else to, to, to sit and think about. Time for some numbers. The size along the big axis was 148 meters. The size along the smaller axis was 122 meters. Built around 238 AD. Official name is the Amphitheater of Thydros. Capacity 30 to 35,000 people. Thydros was second only to Carthage. Designated World UNESCO Heritage Site 1979. So we're on the outside of it. From here, you could see how ornate it was. So it wasn't just functional. Look at those columns with those capitals. Very detailed carvings. I'm guessing it was beautiful back in its day. So we're going to do the camel thing. No. We're on the camel. No. My first camel ride. How is it? So bad feeling. I am such a tourist today. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> She's very afraid. I don't lie. <laughs> that was really good. After that camel ride, we're, we're heading back to the bus. There is a lot of trinkets and stuff being sold. You have to haggle, you know, you have to beat them down in price. This guy was trying to sell us something. He started at 25 dinar. I walked away and he eventually came down to two. Never accept the first price. We're in Tunisia, let me remind you of that. We've seen about Mali ashtray and about Mali statues. Jamaica might be small, but their influence is worldwide, apparently. Heading back to the bus, I really, really enjoyed that. Seeing the ruins, seeing the amphitheater. It was just the best. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And we're heading to Takrona now. I've been to Takrona before. It might just be easier for me to link to the other video in the description of uh, the dedicated Takrona video. So we've arrived at Takrona. I might not show much detail and whatnot. Might just be a very brief wrap up of this trip. guys well that's it we went to the amphitheater and then we went to Takrona we walked back down the hill and now we're going to go back on the bus and head back to Tunis all in all a pretty good day remember to support the channel like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one